hello welcome back to tutorial my subscribers i say very big thank you to you all and those that are stopping by for the first time please don't leave without subscribing so today we are going to learn how to make this simple free top so let's go to the cutting table so these are our working materials for today's tutorial this is our fabrics our scissors our measuring tape and our chunk so Let's get started. This is the fabric we have um, I use for this uh, that my um, top. It is a remnant that remains from the fabric that the dress that I made before. So you I'm trying to manage it to get this blast done. As you can see, I've glued some line. Here, uh, this is my startup line, which is my shoulder. Here, I've measured my shoulder measurement of eight and a half inches. Then, uh, my armhole line is nine inches, which is my chest line now. So, this line you are seeing here is my chest line. And this is my waist line, and this is the full length of my so so i'm going to input my bust measurement on this my chest line so the bust i'm working with is 44 inches by the time you divide it by four it will give you 11 inches so i'm going to add three inches extra to it to make it 14 inches so at my waistline i'm also going to input the 14 inches on my waistline because I want the, the, the top to be very free. So on my hemline, I'm taking 16 inches, which is this point, 16 inches. So now I'm going to connect the points together. So this is what I have now. I'm cutting the shoulder together. It's a cut together sleeve. So the sleeve I'm taking um, 10 inches for my sleeve. And the round sleeve, at least my 10 inches, is uh, about uh, 7 inches, which is at this point. That's my sleeve opening, is about 7 inches, which is at this point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, at this my chest line, I'm going to come down with like 3 inches. That is this point. So from these 3 inches, I'll make a curve to meet, a slight curve to meet that my sleeve opening. I'm making a slight curve to meet my sleeve opening. I hope you are seeing it. Then I'm going to connect it together at this point. So this is what I have now for that side. Now the neckline. The neckline I'm taking is three and a half inches for the neck width. I'm taking three and a half inches for the neck width. Then the neck depth, I'm taking for both front and back, I'm taking four inches. The front and back will be the same. So, three and a half by four inches. So, I'm curving my neckline now. So, I'm curved the neckline now. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut it out. If you look at this dress, it doesn't have shoulder slope because it's folded at the shoulder. It's, I'm not splitting the shoulder open. So I'm, I'm leaving it this way. There's no shoulder slope on it. So at this, my PC side of my hemline, I'm coming up here by one and a half of an inch, one and a half inches. Then I will cover it to so that i don't want that point to be pointed i don't want it to be pointed so i'm covering it in so 
So this is what I have now for it. So when I'm cutting, I'm cutting this way, this way, this way, then this way. Then I'll cut the neckline. So this is what I have now after cutting it out as you can see so what i'm going to do now i'm going to turn the neckline with bias strip so as i open it now up now this is what i have for the top this is the neckline so now this place is the sleeve round sleeve so i'm going this is a crepe material it's on fold i have to as in i folded it into into two pieces into two so as it is now i have two inches here so i hope you are seeing it two inches so i'm going to this is for the two sleeve it will go around for the two sleeve i made this a very long strip here so i'm going to put it on this round sleeve this way see it is facing the right side i will sew it with half inch then i will cut the remaining and sew on the other side Okay, this is what I have on the sleeve and after sewing it. You can see some on this one. So I'm going to turn it this way now. Right side facing each other. I'll bring the two together, align it very well. Pin it down as I align it to the down part of the top. Then I will sew it with my seam allowance. I will do same on this side. Okay, I'm done uh, shaping it by the sides. You can see it. So I'm going to turn to the wrong side. So I'm going to put an elastic on the damp part of the clothstone. I'll just fold it quarter of an inch inside, then fold in half an inch because i'm putting half an inch elastic and sew it round for my elastic casing so when i'm I, as i'm sewing i will leave a space where i will insert my elastic from then after inserting my elastic i will close up the space okay guys this is what our top look like i'm done fixing the elastic and this is what i have if this tutorial has been helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like my videos, share my videos, and comment on my videos. Thank you.